Clostridium difficile is a major public health concern and uh, 20 to 30 percent of patients will experience recurrent disease. Um, we now know that fecal transplantation or fecal microbiota transplantation is an effective therapy for uh, the treatment of recurrent C. diff. However, the standard modality of delivery right now in the U.S. is via colonoscopy. And so that's how we traditionally deliver the donor stool. Um, so we aim to look at not only the clinical effectiveness of oral encapsulation of fecal transplantation, but also how well those capsules engrafted compared to standard modalities. So the capsules are produced um, by Open Biome, which is a nonprofit um, organization, uh, as a stool bank based out of Massachusetts. The capsules hold human stool, um, which is actually encapsulated in what we call a mi uh, microbial emulsion membrane, which is a lipid layer that actually coats the stool and protects the gel cap from the aqueous nature of the stool. So it essentially prevents the capsule from both dissolving from the inside out and the outside in, so it makes it a lot more stable. It's a single donor, so the doses that we looked at in the study were both high and low dose, so there were two sites. High dose was 60 capsules total, or 30 on two consecutive days, and the low dose site was 30 capsules on a single day. And uh, each dose only comprised of one donor material, a single donor's material. So to be eligible for this study, you had to have a confirmed diagnosis of recurrent C. diff. And what that means is three or more confirmed episodes, so three positive tests. And or, and or you had to have failed standard therapy with, with conventional antibiotics. Um, aside from that, you could not have any difficulty swallowing, obviously because of the capsules, um, or any GI motility issues that would prevent um, you know, uh, safety of capsule swallowing. So what we found from a clinical standpoint is that the efficacy um, in either group, both low and high dose, were essentially equivalent. So between 70 and 80 percent of patients in either group had successful clearance of C. diff at eight weeks, which was the um, study endpoint. Um, and when we, and th that was not statistically significant. And when we looked at engraftment, we looked at the samples from patients who received the capsules, comparing them to patients who had received FMT via colonoscopy or NG tube administration, which are more conventional methods. And the bacterial engraftment in the colons of those patients was equivalent. So capsules do um, engraft equally as well. What I should also say is that there were five patients who did not uh, achieve successful cure with the capsules, and all of those patients received high-dose rescue therapy, meaning they got the high dose, the 30 times two. And after we did that, we received, achieved a uh, clinical cure rate of 94%. So actually no adverse events, so patients tolerated the capsules very well, maybe some very mild nausea or abdominal pain on the day of administration, but that was minimal, so no um, vomiting, no fevers, nothing like that. So they are, um, after the results of, we performed this study, um, we now are recommending a single dose of 30 times one. Um, for patients with recurrent C. diff, and if you fail redosing, um, as we did in our study. And so you can, physicians can purchase these capsules via Open Biome, just like they can purchase stool from Open Biome for fecal transplantation. They are not commercially available to patients, but to physicians who perform FMT. FMT is a, a, an effective therapy for recurrent C. diff and capsule formulation seems to work very well. Colonoscopy still seems to be slightly more effective than capsules, but the benefit of capsules are that you reduce uh, procedural related risks with the colonoscopy. And additionally, we now know that engraftment seems to be equally as good with capsules compared to traditional methods.